Gracias. Esta pregunta es para David. David, um, ¿por qué crees que, um, bueno, primero, si se gana este 28 de agosto, ¿tú crees que problemas de las agendas, Canelo no se dé esa pelea este año, ¿te gustaría en el 2022 que se dé esa pelea? ¿Y por qué crees que Canelo te sigue evadiendo? Gracias, thank you. Um, pues la verdad, ahorita nomás estoy enfocado en esta pelea con Uskechek y pues yo creo que la pelea con Canelo va a ser un poquito más complicado para hacer. Yo creo que cuando yo gane esta pelea, yo creo que la, la pelea que es que más fácil para hacer es contra Caleb Pant, porque ya está ahí en la, en la, en la promoción. So yo creo que esa es la, esa es la pelea que se, va, que se va a hacer. Pero como dije, yo tengo un, un peleador fuerte enfrente de mí ahorita y yo nomás estoy enfocado en él, en este check en agosto 28. So. Cuando gane, yo creo que, como dije, la pelea que se puede hacer es con Caleb Plant, no con el canal ahorita. Pero, uh, pero uh, ¿por qué crees que te va de Saúl Canelo Álvarez? Uh, ¿se, ¿Cree que por tu pegada o...? Yo, pues, yo creo que ahorita en, en lo que él está tratando de hacer es ganar títulos y uh, ser unified los títulos o, o se va a ir a un semifinal y ganar esos títulos. Yo creo que no, él no le interesa una pelea conmigo ahorita porque obviamente no tengo cinturón o... Es mucho riesgo para nada, pero yo creo que ahorita él, su agenda ahorita es para ganar títulos. Uh, well, the, David, the David, if you could, David, if you could uh, ask, uh, tell us what okay. the question was, was in your answer. He asked me if, uh, if, if after this fight, what fight do you think I could make? What fight, what the fight with Canelo, would it be possible by the end of this year or 2022? And I said that, To be honest, I don't think a fight, if I come out victorious, I don't think a fight with Canelo would be um, the fight that I can make happen. I think the easier fight that can be made happen right now would be with Caleb Plant because we're in the same promotion company. And he also asked me if, if he thinks that, if I think that Canelo is running for me. And I told him, I disagree. I don't think that he's running for me. I think that his agenda right now is that he's looking for, he's looking to either unify titles or to win titles at 168 or go up to 175 and win a title. I feel like for a fight, for him to take a fight with me would be a little bit too much risk because obviously I don't have a belt. So I feel like his agenda right now is either unifying titles at 168 or winning belts at 175. Uh, muchísimas gracias a ambos en buena suerte el próximo 28. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you, Jose. Uh, next question will come from Cameron Buford. Hey guys, I got a question for both of you men. Uh, thank you guys for taking making time for me. Um, David, first for you, because you you've been so complimentary of Jose. Do you think because you guys fight have the same uh, boxing style that this makes it an easier fight to train for? Um, not. It, I mean, a training camp is not easy. It's not easy to train for any fight. I think this is. It makes me. It's a. Uh, Well, actually, yeah, it, it's, it's an easier fight because it makes me more motivated because I know he's a dangerous fighter and I know he has as much, I mean, he has more knockouts than I have fights. So it makes me more motivated. It makes me go that extra mile. It makes me do those extra rounds in sparring because I know, you know, he's not no slouch. He's not no pushover. You know, he's an ex-world champion like I'm an ex-world champion. So it's not, it's not hard to get motivated for this type of fight, you know. And if I go in there and I, I go in to stop Jose Uzcateki, which nobody's ever done, and for a reason, is because, you know, um, then the people, they can't deny me my respect. I'm going in here, I'm doing everything. You know, every fighter they put in front of me, you know, I'm going to stop in fighters that nobody stopped, you know, like uh, Romer Angulo, Ronald Ellis, you know, Anthony Durrell, I stopped for the title. So, I mean, a lot of people say that I can't do stuff, but that's what gets me, you know, that's what gets me going. You know, there's, there's the top of the, the, when people say I can't do something, I go out there and challenge myself. You know, I try to, push the limits and I try to look better than I've ever looked before and I feel like with my age and my experience I'm getting better I'm getting stronger you know my ring IQ is going up and I'm getting more confidence in myself so um I feel like 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 I said I'm taking every fight like it feels my last fight and I'm training as hard as I can for it because I know a lot of big fights on the horizon and you know I'm very excited for what's coming up in the future you know I already got eight years professional next year is going to be my ninth year professional so I mean I'm a veteran myself
you know, and um, I've been in some big fights. I've been in big, big, in some big moments, and um, I'm just excited for what's going to come to the future. So um, this is going to be another great fight. Um, I feel like a lot of boxers feel like they have to be disrespectful all the time, but, you know, you don't have to be disrespectful. I mean, me and Jose Uskatek, you know what's at, the, what's at stake. We know what type of fighter each other are, what, what type of fighter we both are. And we're going to do our talking in the ring. You know, I mean, I feel like not every fighter, you know, you have to be – not every press conference you have to disrespect somebody or say something about somebody. You know, I have a lot of respect for him. He's the ex-world champion just like I'm an ex-world champion. You know, I, still, I know his style very good. And I'm very excited because, like I said, this is – I mean, this is going to be a – this is going to be a hell of a war. And I'm excited. You know, I'm excited for the people that are going to be there because they're going to be the ones winning at the end. This is going to be a great fight. He doesn't back down. I'm not going to back down either. And it may, may the best man win. I mean, this is going to be the last man standing, and I guarantee it's going to be me.